Hi, it's Jo Martin here and I've got a question for you. Are you a coach? Now, you might think that's kind of a simple question, but in fact, I've known lots of women who figured out that they were coaches way before doing any kind of training or certification. What they began to realize was that in the way that they showed up to support their friends, the way they led, the way they interacted with people in their team or colleagues that they were mentoring, they just had this, I don't know, innate ability to be a coach. What kinds of things am I talking about, I hear you think? Well, the kinds of qualities that tell me that you're a coach include things like, number one, you're a great listener. You not only hear what people are saying and give them the space to share it, but you have that warm, understanding energy that means people actually really love talking to you. Like maybe you're someone who people seem to love to tell their dreams and their fears to. Have you ever had that experience where you go to a party, say with a friend or with your partner, and you both talk to the same person? And when you compare notes afterwards, you've had a totally different experience than they did. Like maybe, maybe your friend says, oh yeah, Anne, she seemed really nice. She was an accountant, right? And that's all she got out of Anne. Whereas you're like, Anne, oh my gosh, what an amazing lady. She's been through so much and I just love this new idea she's got about changing the way that we feel about our bodies and yada, yada, yada. You get the idea, right? If you're the kind of person that people just open their hearts to and spill the beans, you're naturally just interested in people, well, you probably are a coach. The second quality that tells me uh, that you may well be a coach is it's about being really focused on what's coming up for people, what their future's gonna be, how they can change things in their life right now to achieve that and so on. So if you're a little bit future focused like that, um, it could be you, you know? So to stick with that same example, when a coach talks to someone where things are not going so well, she's not like, oh, that's really hard. Oh, poor you, what a bastard, that's horrible. Oh God, that's terrible. She doesn't like to sit there and sit with people in their stuff. You know, there's, um, I'm not saying that that's uh, inappropriate necessarily. You know, there are times where it's appropriate to have a, what I would call a, a wine and a wine with people. But if you have this natural coaching tendency, you don't jump in there with people and just kind of go, oh, that's really bad. Different to having empathy. Empathy is important to say, yeah, I, I get you, I get where you're coming from. But if you're someone who refuses to let people buy into their stories and to stay stuck, you probably have what it takes to be a coach. So listen, my darling, I wanna know where you're at. Are you hidden away in another role but recognize that you've got these coaching capabilities? A bit like one of the X-Men, you know, you've got hidden superpowers that the world doesn't really know about yet. Or if you're a coach already, I'd love to know if you notice these innate aspects of your personality before you trained. I mean, I certainly know that I was coaching from about the age of seven. You know, it was just my natural personality to not have people settle, to want the best for people and to be a great listener. So go ahead, reply to this post down. Let me know, how are things for you? If you've liked the video and you'd like to share it with anyone, please feel free to do that and click the like button if you'd like to hear more from us. It's great to chat with you. Look forward to hearing from you.